everyone, welcome inside the Pitt Center. I'm Ty Kara Carter alongside Dominique Patrick. Well, hey, it's now or never right now for the Bryant Bulldogs. Some keys for Bryant going into tonight is they have to take care of the basketball. You don't want FDU to get comfortable in turnover situations where they can run in transition. And then they'll have to score in bunches. Coach Mary Burke wants to see more players get in on the scoring as opposed to just Brooke Bajelko. Well, David, when I was playing basketball, I knew when a moment was good for momentum and to be a boost. And the Windy City Bulls come in here with a 5-7 and seven record. Westchester Knicks are 4-6. and six. When you look at those Eastern Conference standings, the teams that are outside looking in of the playoffs, all their records are kind of similar. Well, when you think about it, we were dead in the midst of COVID a season ago where they were playing in this same gymnasium with cardboard people in those stands. To be able to accomplish this in front of your friends, family, loved ones, that's a different type of feeling. The Pioneers will strive to protect home court as they get ready for a two-game homestand. But first, they'll have to deal with a player that I know was at the top of their scout this week, and that's Kendall Brisey. Well, Windy City shot the basketball better than they have in any other game this season. They knocked down a season-high 14 three-pointers. So something that I'm thinking for Westchester tonight, are they going to adjust their defense, push up on the three-point line a little bit more? Or was it just one of those nights where Windy City got hot at the right time? Take a look at this again. Backs them down, backs them down. You can't guard me. Bucket by Miles McBride. And look, look at the hand, look at the hand. Hey, a trip to Emmitsburg, Maryland. Yeah. You'll be facing Mount St. Mary's for the championship game. How does that sound? And I like that take by MJ Walker. It was a hard closeout, so he drives by his defender into the lane, and he's able to absorb into that contact. Watching it here again just goes all the way through and muscles it up over Thompson. Coach, you guys only scored three points in the last six minutes of that second quarter. What happens to your offense? Francis has been really good off the bench, making sound decisions, buckets. I spoke him up again. He gets a deflection on the defensive end of the floor. We get the pass ahead to Allen and the bucket. Talk about the MEAC Conference. It shines at the place where many African-American athletes showcase their talents on their respective playing fields and in the classroom, dating back to its inaugural football season in 1971. He's just the fourth head coach in Windy City's franchise history, and he was also a hooper back in his day, played his college. College ball at Eastern Illinois University averaged 21 points per game and six rebounds per game. As, as some people would say, some slight, a little bit, you know, coach could get it in. And, you know, I'm shocked by how many threes Windy City has shot so far in this game. They're up to 14 three pointers and they only make around nine per game, shooting 31% from out there. So they're not a three point shooting team, but today they're letting it fly.